Hello there, and welcome. Hi. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I really do. Once again, hello there, and welcome to Yesher Productions here on Twitch. Uh, how is everybody doing today? I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Liam here today on Wednesday, lovely Wednesday here in the end of July, for a live stream of Star Wars Conquest, uh, Mountain Blade Warbland, well, well, Mountain Blade Warband modded version, I guess, in which the whole game has completely over been overhauled so that I can play Star Wars in a game format I'm really a big fan of. I I'm gonna start off with the announcements. <laughs> So first of all, a couple of things. First, I want to say thank you for joining me here today. As you know, this is the regular Wednesday stream in which I play Star Wars video games. Typically, they'd be, well, historically, they've been like real proper licensed ones and everything like that, which don't worry, I will be getting back to in the near future. I just wanted to take one more week to play this game because uh, I've been really enjoying the feel for it. So it's been nice to go back to it for a couple of sessions. Uh, next week, I'll probably actually go back to a, a licensed game. But yeah, that's normally what we do here. But if you're interested on in what else we do, of course, you can also see everything else we do here on this Twitch, as well as what we've done in the past. So including previous streams of this stream, you can go over to our YouTube, Yes Your Productions on YouTube, where we've done a few different games now. I've done a couple playthroughs of, uh, I've, I've done all of the Force Unleashed 1 and 2. I've done some Battlefront 2, of course. I've played some of this game. And I've done a complete playthrough of Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, which ended rather abruptly. Because I found the final boss fight to be a little anticlimactic. Uh, but that's okay. I found the game overall pretty good. So I'm really happy to say you can go check those VODs out over on our YouTube. Uh, second thing is if you like this stream and you want to see more streams, not necessarily like this one, but other ones we do, of course, come check in every other day or so. We've got something going on usually. Uh, next stream will be on Friday. Bambi plays with Amber. Saturday night we'll be playing more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I want to apologize to anybody who tuned in for tried to tune in for iNetCraft on Monday. Uh, there was a scheduling conflict, so that did not happen, but it will be happening this week. We'll be back to normal this coming Monday. Uh, and of course, if you want to know what's going on and why things are changing, why things get canceled at the last minute or something like that, go f give us a like over on Facebook. Uh, we post announcements, news, and everything like that that you need to know about what's going on over here, over there. Okay. I think that's it, really. That's all I got to say right now. Of course, you know what I'm doing today. I've told you guys repeatedly I'm playing Mountain Blade Warband, but I'm playing a modded version of it. I'm playing Star Wars Conquest, and I'm really excited to be doing this. So we're going to go ahead and load the game up. So yeah, to bring everybody up to speed on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, I my goal is that I'm, I'm attempting to become Mandalore Khan uh, because that's just what I want to do. I'm, I'm playing a character that I've decided is Mandalorian in Heritage, although he's not. Uh, officially, that's not a thing you can choose. I'm um, part of the Hut Cartel. We just got our first planet awarded to us by the Hut Cartel. And our entire goal now is to simply go from being nobody to eventually being Mandalore Khan. <laughs> and we've chosen Mandalore Khan thanks to the suggestion of uh, one of our followers, Soviet the Soviet Melon, who, who said I was following similar footsteps to Genghis, and I got kind of excited about that, because if you actually look at the Legends lore behind Mandalorians, there is no Mandalore Khan. Not in the history of all of Mandalores. Has there been a Mandalore Khan? There's been, of course, Mandalore the First, Mandalore the Ultimate, Mandalore the uh, the Conqueror, Mandalore uh, the Lesser, Mandalore the... Yeah. Whole bunch of different ones. So I've decided that our Mandalore, we will name ourselves Mandalore Khan, once we eventually claim Mandalore, which I haven't done yet. Um, the planet we've got is actually nowhere near Mandalore, and I'm miserable about the whole thing. But I'm going to fix that. Uh, we are currently at war with um, the Rebel Alliance only. And this is our planet. This is Dara 4. This is our home. What are we dealing with here? We're dealing with very interesting fleet there. How are we looking? Oh yeah, and uh, big one from last week is we finally got uh, Ram Coda. So we've got the only Mandalorian uh, ally in Nethrak Bevan. We've got Ram Coda and Kyle Katarn now, so two of the best Jedi and the the best Jedi fighters in the game. And we've got Kara Morin, who is also a, a Jedi. So 
here's what I'm going to do that's different than every other Mandalorian leader, is instead of uh, recruiting, instead of recruiting uh, soldiers to my cause only, I'm going to, instead of letting the Jedi come to me, bring all the Jedi into my group, and then use them to conquer the galaxy, so that eventually when the Mandalorian Empire controls the entirety of the galaxy, it is not, I repeat, not going to be the Jedi that take us down. <laughs> This is my work hole. This is my loophole in this weird plan I've got. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a veteran Imperial Stormtrooper. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to try and have a go at these deserters. Let's have a look at Dara 4, though. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and land on the planet's surface real quick and take a look at it. So this is our planet, guys. This is uh, This is the one we own. There's our planet administrator. I feel like I could probably be doing stuff to help these guys out, but anyway. All right, so here's what we're gonna do then. We are gonna go ahead right on over here. We are gonna try and fight these deserters, I think. When I'm done, you'll ever regret leaving your army. Oh, they want us to fight on Naboo. Yeah, okay, let's fight on Naboo. Let's fight on Naboo. We can win this fight. We're just going to set ourselves up right here. Everyone is ready for battle. Oh, crap. We're stuck on something now. Oh, well, they got speeders. Mm -hmm. Oh no, speeder bikes. Speeder bikes are bad. Speeder bikes are real bad news bears. I didn't actually think we'd get to a point where we're fighting against cavalry already, really. Oh yeah, he didn't stand a chance, did he? Cool, so let's see if we can get our troops up to uh, there. Oh shit, hang on. Oh no, oh no, I ran into a rock. Yo, these, this deserter army is very, very mixed. This is not really the usual deserter thing we see here, you know? Oh, shit. Duck and weave, duck and weave. All right, team. Advance to here. All we gotta do is make sure we get a couple of them every time we do a pass-through. Black Sun Smuggler, Imperial Navy Trooper. Okay, so we lost our Navy Trooper. That's fine. Yeah, Navy Troopers don't last long, and that's for sure. Okay, so we've lost our Storm Trooper. And there we go. So all we gotta do now is hope that uh, they didn't destroy. So what did we lose here? We got one Mandalorian soldier wounded and we lost our two Imperials. Oh, boo. Well, whatever. Uh, who can we recruit here? We can get uh, some Wookiees. Get a security guard, that doesn't interest me all that much. I could get a Trandoshan. Imperial pilot, Imperial gunner. So pilots, pilots I can recruit a great deal of and they appear to be cavalry. And that would be really good to have right about now. I was unaware we could get those, so I'm going to snag a couple of these. Let's grab... Let's grab five. So I can have some, some cavalry at this point. That just seems like a good thing to have, especially since I'm going to be dealing with that more and more. My, my costs are going way the hell up. But in my opinion, that's kind of worth it right now. 
All right, let's uh, access the item pool. What do we got here? Wow, that's a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top, obviously. See if we can upgrade any of my men's equipment. And cool, we actually were able to snag everything. That's awesome. Okay, let's talk to Nethrak. Let me see your gear, my friends. What have you got? You've got good shit already, don't you? 42 damage versus 90. You are going to switch to a DLT 19. Have I got anything to improve that? I do not at this point. And he is going to be good to go. What do we got? 14 head versus an 18 head and a 19 head. And his, his armor is 57 and 17. There's nothing I'm going to find on just randos that is going to be better than that. So let's go ahead and slap a Black Sun helmet on him. Let's give him the crude Black Sun helmet. Although I'd like to get him into a Mandalorian gear eventually. I can hold off for now. Long black gloves it is. Nope, that looks really stupid. Uh, he's got plus three gloves. That's fine for now. All right, we're done with him. Let's have a look at Ram Coda. Let me see your equipment. Great helmet. Great fucking helmet. Uh, 28 and 10. 26 and 10, 25 and 9, 28 and 12. The closed vest it is. That's a better thing. And 12 leg armor versus 12 leg armor. It's good there. He doesn't have any gloves, so let's give him these. And he's got throwing lightsabers and a one-handed lightsaber as well as force push. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. And I got lots of options for better head armor. We need him to stay alive in case things get close enough to actually fight against him. So let's give him a better helmet. That's 9 helmet versus 14, 18, 10. Let's give him the crude Nova Trooper helmet. Alright, now let's have a look at Kyle Katarn. Let me see your gear. So he's all Stormtrooper right now, but that's good, right? Yeah, it's really good gear. So we... What do we got? This is a regular DL44. 23 versus 23. We didn't get any better pistols. What about sidearms there? Vibro blades. It's a 25. 24, 24, 24. I don't think we got anything better. We got better gloves for him. Yeah, we got better gloves. You can have the white gloves now. You can have black gloves now. Uh, and nothing better for head or any other equipment, right? Because that's a 12. No, no, I got a... That's better. She's got a lot of good stuff too right now, doesn't she? 36, 14, 18, head armor. Yeah, so she is our other Jedi type right now. 39 versus... Yeah, so she's got, she's got about as good as she gets right now. Uh, what do we got for legs? Yeah, she's actually got good gear, so I'm not gonna worry about that then. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the leg armor we have right now. And we're done. Alright, anybody ready for an upgrade? No, nope, nobody's ready for an upgrade yet. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna head back to Dara 4. And we're gonna manage this planet. Uh, forget it. Educational facility, radar facility. Increases by 25%. Well, I'd like to do that because I think it'll, it'll decrease. Do we have to stay here the whole time? I can't remember. Well, it increases the time for them to loot the planet, so let's do it. You're currently... Okay, cool. Stationing. Uh, wait here for some time. We're gonna do a full day here, I think, but while I come up with my plan. No, I wanted to look at my inventory. I want to see what we have for... We got to go sell some stuff. So, 
I guess we'll start at Corellia and sell some stuff. Was defeated in battle but managed to escape Commander Krasadi. So we're all back up at basically full power at this point. Cool, we're we're in good shape right now. Okay, go to the marketplace, trade with the goods merchants. And we're just gonna sell everything I've got right now because I got a bunch of stuff that I don't need in here. Although I should really be giving this to some of my other guys, I'm sure. Just gonna part with all of it. 1200 credits for that. Yeah, that's a that's a good setup. That's a good sell. Now, what can I buy? We running low on anything? No, we haven't even touched those yet. We should probably buy some variety stuff. Mojo fruit would be good to buy. Cuz that gives us plus 6. Let's have a look. Is there anything else I could buy? I could buy some real spice, but that just that go, we go through that really fast, so Shipment of jury juice, eh? Yeah, okay. We'll grab that too. So we're still going to make money off of that. And... Yeah, I think... I think what we want to do is we want to go loot something right now. I think we want to go raid a rebel planet. Um, I guess I could probably still sell on Bespin though. So let's, let's raid a rebel planet... Uh, like, Kuat? Serapin's under siege, so we could probably get to Kuat without any repercussions, really. So I think we're just going to try and sneak in and take advantage of that. Who is... Who has put Serapin under siege? They move under 9.0. We'll never catch him. It's under the siege by the Galactic Empire, eh? Oh, hello. Imperial Royal Guards, eh? Uh, could we win that fight? They're they're gonna outrun us, so it might be hoove us to put ourselves in a better situation to win the fight. Let's just do it. Let's just take him head on. Uh, let's land and fight on Serapin. Okay, uh, quickly do this. Everyone, stop Everyone moving. Go there. Um, fire at will. Okay, so we're losing men like crazies because we're fighting against royal guards, which are exceptionally dangerous. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Alright, we've hit level 15, that's good, right? That's really good. We lost some soldiers today, though. There we go. Okay, who do we lose? We lost two Mandalorian soldiers that fight. That's not good. I don't need uh, I don't need any of these guys. Yeah, no, I don't need any of these guys. Okay, so let's have a let's have a look at the let's have a look at the item pool. Some real guard equipment is always good stuff. It's always good stuff to get. Okay, we got some level ups to do here. So let's start with Kalkatarn. Tell me about your skills. Let's see what you got. Uh, I think because we've got him shooting a lot right now, we should probably really buy into that concept a little more. So that'll be better served how. Power draw isn't even really a thing at this point. So what does this do for me? I mean, I feel like putting it into agility is just a good idea at this point. Um... 
Um, 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 um. I think we're going to start making him our looter. Of course, we'll dump a bunch of points into that, and then a point in the... I guess we're giving him some points and force powers now. There we go, never mind. Let's talk to Kira. Tell me about your skills. Let's see your skills. And you are my force wielder, so we're going to give you force knowledge, of course. Pump this all the way up. Throw in another point of intelligence. And then we've got her shooting a lot right now, so I think we're going to give her a point in athletics. And be done with that. Mandalorian soldier, become Mandalorian... Crusader. Mandalorian Crusader. I have a Mandalorian Crusader now. Where is he? There he is. Hot damn. Okay, so let's let's see. What does a dead eye become? So okay, dead eye ends the train. A Crusader is the other end of that. Okay, cool. I got an Imperial Ace pilot now. Army trooper. We're gonna put you into the Scout trooper tree just because I want to see what happens when I have a Scout trooper. Become Scout Marksman. So, okay, so we get, we're going to get some better archers out of this, which is going to be better for holding up. Mandalorian Deadeye, please. Mandalorian Soldier, you're going to go into being a commando. I'd like to have some more brawny boys, which is going to be the next thing we do here. And then we need more points and stuff. So what do we want? Uh, that's just going to be good to have, I think, in the grand scheme. What have we got right now? We need to get some engineering going on, so let's go ahead and dump a point there. Can I snag two points of engineering? No, you know what? I don't. I shouldn't need to do that. Cargo capacity. Increase the ship cargo capacity by six points per skill level. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we're going to take another point of... that. And then we're going to dump a bunch more points into one-handed. Oh, I guess we're doing pull arms then for the rest of it. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so we uh, we were able to extort some equipment, so that saves me even more money. Now, hilariously enough, we're going to go to Bespin and we're going to sell this stuff. So, where is Bespin? There's Shangri-La. Find Bespin. Bespin... Just bogged in. There it is. Best bin. Oh, hang on. There we go. Uh, Job of the Hut of the Hut Cartel wishes to select a new marshal and invites his comrade commanders for a council. Kui, uh, Kui and Wee Kui are the likely com candidates. Okay. Gives us support to Kui Quag. Quick quag, 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 quick quag. I'm. Oh, interesting. It's turning around. Not really. Okay. So now who do I support? I think Boba Fett went with quick quag. So we're gonna go with quick quag. And I want to give a quick little shout out to um, Playpocalypse Games for mentioning how to how to fast travel on the surface of the map. I couldn't. I genuinely couldn't remember. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and disguise ourselves and try to sneak. Awesome. We made it. Okay. Cool. Trade with the goods merchant. Yeah, I would not have successfully pulled off a, an attempted siege on my own.
I'll hang on to the silk. If it doesn't give any bonuses, I'm not going to keep it. Okay, weapons merchant. Um, thankfully, I think I have a low enough recognition right now. Like, I'm not famous enough for it to be a problem. Another West Star, a better West Star 34. Oh, for 4K, though, I can't really afford that. Shit. Because that would be perfect, right? That would be just perfect for me to have, right? Just to, to have a better West Star 34 than what I'm already using. Oh, what a, what a shot in the... What a punch. Okay, um... Uh, hmm. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I think that's probably enough for right now. I mean, I'd like to go to the cantina. It's kind of weird to not be on the hunt for anybody anymore, you know? It's like I'm not looking for any more... Uh, from this planet will follow somebody like you. Try your luck elsewhere. Well, then I should probably just leave. Considering I'm not exactly liked... It's gonna, it, like, this is what I was afraid of. By, by going, by getting promoted and eventually having my own planet, I, I pretty much have antagonized, inadvertently antagonized, mind you, but antagonized them nonetheless. Uh, we're, we're, we're headed for Dara 4, right? Good. Inadvertently antagonized, um, <laughs> the Rebel Alliance, which I don't like. Uh, manage the planet. We got 12 days left on the project we're working on right now. Cool. Land on the planet's surface. I don't know that I actually really like this planet very much. Great leave from hands out. Just like take food just like kill anyone. Just in Republic just like refuse. With some help from the people. Top discipline. All right. So we are we are doing this now. Train the colonists. Train them. It's a good thing to do, you know. Start the practice fight. All right, well, that was exactly what I expected, so we're going to go ahead and train the colonists. Train them. Yeah. This was actually the perfect quest for us to have to do right now. I, I really like this kind of quest. This quest is easy. Um, oh, hey, we've got money in the bank account. We can pay it all in cash, though. We have it. Start the practice fight. So one thing I will say I like about this is that I like that half of the time they'll be wearing something from like a Star Wars themed clothing thing, obviously, in this game. But the other thing, too, is they'll be like the other half of the time they're wearing um, they're wearing the same kind of generic outfits you see from a variety of different uh, just regular villages when you're fight when you're doing Mountain Blade Warband. Like this guy, for example, is wearing a very Andorian themed outfit. <laughs> But when you're actually training some of them, you know, they're wearing the regular peasant outfit. Okay, hang on. Everybody hold this position here. Please and thank you. And we're just going to go in there and wreck up their line a little bit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we're stuck on a tree, we're stuck on a tree.
Like, I love that they all just line up really nicely like this, you know? This just makes my job really, really easy. All right, all of you guys get in there. We got a Mandalorian soldier getting some kills. We got everybody getting some kills at this point. Yeah! Even my colonists are getting some kills. Problem is, I can't tell who's who anymore. I'm sure there's a way to set up icons or something like that for me to see who's on my side and who's not on my side, but... All right, I think we won that fight without losing a single individual. No, we lost a colonist. <laughs> uh, genuinely don't need that. All right, so we, we completed the quest. We're gonna go off planet for a second, have a look, uh, anybody ready for a level up or anything? No, no, no one needs a level up. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're gonna now see if we can get our hands on some stuff to sell here, and we're gonna see if we can sneak back onto Vespin. Although the odds of us succeeding that is gonna get less and less every time we do it. All right, bye. Hydro, hydro, hydro. Leave. Vespin, go, 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 go. So deserters are bad news bears here, you know? As you try to sneak in, one of the guards recognizes you and raises the alarm. You must flee back to your ship before... Okay, uh... Try to fight our way out. Can I, can I get out? That's to the arena. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, hey, we got in anyway. That worked out. Trade with the goods merchant. Sell, sell, sell. Perfect, we'll stop there. And we'll go to the weapons merchant and we're gonna sell that and that. And I was gonna check my, my team here. Uh, companions overview. Uh, return to the menu, because that's the problem. If uh, From here, I can't really sell anything I don't think here well I can't buy anything I know that without knowing what everybody has so uh I really can't afford hmm, there's so many things I just can't afford to do right now I'd like to get better leg armor I think for me at this point though we got 14 we got a 23 helmet so that's pretty good uh that's 24 24 leg that is probably pretty worth it at this point, especially since I don't want us to go down uh, 34 and 10 versus 52 and 18. That would be good for us to get for one of our other guys. Uh, there's nothing really better except for the Bezcar boots. Weight 1.5 versus weight 2.0, so I'd be lighter. Weight 8.0. Yeesh, that weight's pretty high, eh? Defiler stuff would be not as good though. That's the thing. I've got good man. I got good armor right now. I'd like to do better leg armor. I think at this point though. Uh, I'll bite the bullet on it. I know it doesn't really look the part compared to the rest of what I'm wearing, but it's it's good stuff to have anyways. Oh wait a minute. No, I'm gonna buy the best car. I think I'll bite the bullet. It doesn't matter if my armor looks like it matches as long as it works better, right? It should be how I'm thinking about this anyways. That's the right way to do it. 
So let's do that. Um, and I'll have a look at what my guys have on them afterward. Someone's going to get Mando Boots, though. That puts me in an encumbrance of 13.8. It's going to cost me 3k, but that's okay. Head back. I guess I'll leave. Uh, let's go to party. Start with Nethrak. Nethrak is one of my one of my better guys here. So he's got a 17 for boots. I got nothing better for boots, and his gloves are a plus three. I got nothing better for him. Plus one, plus one, 125, 125. Nothing different there. Okay, thank you. Run to Kota. See your gear for my friends. 12 boots. Winter's boot weight 1.3. It's gonna be up to a 2.0 regardless of what I give him. So let's give him bright red boots. And he's got plus four uh, hand armor, so that's fine. Thank you, Kyle Katarn. What do you got, my friend? Let's see your gear. Boots are 14. I do not have better boots. Uh, gloves are plus three. I do not have better gloves. All right. And now we're up to Kira Marin. Let's see your gear, my friends. 18 leg armor. Okay, so I can sell probably all of this at this point. Um, yeah, because the higher up they are, the more likely they are to be in the field. So as much as I like my Mandalorian soldiers, I'm going to move them down. And bring up my Dead Eyes. And my Defilers are always going to be in my tops. You're going to go down the list. Imperial Pilot Ace is going to come up. Go right after that. My snipers, I really want to get those up to a dead eye so that they can stay there. Imperial pilot is going to move up above the Mandalorian because I just have a, a single regular Mandalorian still. How close are you to a level up though? Tell me about yourself. 2,000 away. Yeah, it's going to be a little while yet. Fifteen, twenty-four, and 10, and 6. No gloves, though, so she can have gloves now. Cool, the rest of it I can sell, so we're done here. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to sneak in onto Bespin at this point. So we're just going to head for Naboo, which I know I can go to safely. Do, 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 do. No, I... I wanted to land on Naboo, not Naboo Outpost. Why did that... Whatever. All right. So we're only making 119 credits off that. That's okay. That is okay. Dara 4. Got 10 days left on that. Okay, so we were only... They're cooperative with me. That's good. Durasteel Oil and Mandalorian Wine. Well, it's nice to know that we're on a Mando Wine Planet. La, 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 la. Let's see here. Should probably buy some food if I can at some point in the near future. I don't need any. Oh no, forget it. I don't want to take hostile action there. Um. Okay. So where are we wanting... We want Mandalore, which is all the way over here. Well, let's see if we can do something more for our planet first. Let's see if we can make Dera 4 a really good planet first, you know? Dera 4, please. Can we land on the planet? There he goes. Uh, let's speak with the planet admin. Tasks, good sir, hardship, harvest has been bad, uh, hmm, how much grain do you need? So we could go work on getting some grain at this point. Um, four packs. Alright, so we've got a project now. we got a lovely little project to do. We're going to start with, uh, no, we need to do bigger planets. So we're going to go to Corellia.
Yeah, because this is where I was finding the good stuff for to try and, you know, flip and shit. Um, was on bigger planets. So let's head over to Naboo. Let's actually go to Naboo now and... Black Sun Thub. Oh, shit. We're not going to win this fight. Everybody stop here. No, hold that position. I need to change what group I've got. Um, Wow, we start going fast and we just... You know, maybe we will win this fight. I mean, looking good so far. Well, okay, we just crashed into a whole bunch of people and hoped that would be enough. I'll just keep the lightsaber going, I think, for a little longer here. Yeah, we don't want the big stuff, the really dangerous stuff to be up and about. That's it, that's it, guys, that's it! Shit, 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 shit. We gotta back up.
shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, what just happened? Oh no, game crash! <laughs> well, that, that kind of sucked there. Uh, let's try and load it up again here. Sorry for the technical difficulties there, my friends. I don't know what just happened. I don't think we lost. I don't think that's possible because we still had a bunch of guys left. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and load the game back up again. Do just gonna try and load it up again see where it actually saved because I think it saved us before that fight um, Must have because I think I did something on a planet and it auto saves every time I land on a planet So I don't think we're gonna have to do that fight because I'm gonna change what I do So we shouldn't have to fight a fleet of 91 Enemies which is way more than I thought it was. This is what happened when I, I turned away for a second and that was enough, right? It's always enough Oh my goodness. So this is alright though. Yeah, so we, 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 have we just done something? I don't remember what we were in the middle of doing, so I think we're going to try and just head back to our planet. But we're going to do it differently. We're going to go... Oh, I think we were headed for Naboo. I think that's where we were headed. Let's see if I can get there safely. No. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we're looking for... What are we looking for? We are looking for... They don't have it anyways. We're looking for wheat. Mustafar. 324 credits. Holy crap, our bank account's going to be in pretty good shape. You know, it shouldn't be surprising that they're mostly selling oil here on uh, Mustafar. How else are you supposed to get that extra extra crispy Darth Vader? <laughs> Going for Ryloth. Wow, it is proving very difficult to actually find wheat. Tatooine, perhaps? We'll go to Hypori next. Hypori. Hydro spanners for days. Like, damn. Should find out where else is a good spot to trade for hydro spanners because Bespin's going to get very dangerous here. Lots of cheese. Hydro spanners, again, are cheap here, so. Oh, the price tag is so appealing. I can't do it, though. Let's go to Saki. High prosperity means good income. So I need to get my prosperity up. I'm too far away from my planet now, though. Bib Fortuna is now our... I see. Ah, 
There they are. There we go, we won the fight. Honestly, it's going a lot better than I thought it would normally go, like... Whoa, Ewok furs are cheap here. Uh, I feel like I should buy some Nerf beef. That's good, that's good. You know, I could actually attack one of these groups and probably win. But I really don't want to further antagonize these planets. Uh, wait, Kashyyyk is part of the Rebel Alliance. Uh, good. Okay, that worked out. Spice, Dura Steel, Hydro Spanners, Nerf Beef, nothing. I'm genuinely on the hunt for something very specific, and it's bothering me I can't find it. Uh, cool. Go to the marketplace. Goods Merchant. Everyone has everything I... I would normally have needed, except I took on a quest. I shouldn't have taken on a quest. That was my big mistake. Let's go to Bogdan. Bogdan's got to be good for something other than just Hydro Spanners, right? Nope, useless. Even for Hydro Spanners right now, their Hydro Spanners cost more than going to some of the other planets I was on. Shangri La. Nope. This is the first time I haven't seen Hydro Spanners and been incredibly excited about just buying as many as I can. Yeah, a lot of places with cheap hydro spanners right now. Anobis. If the right things are going, I'm probably going to blow this quest. Okay, so that right there is a fine example of what to avoid like the damn plague. What's their speed movement? 8.2. I can outrun them. Head for Wayland. Yeah, the hard part is definitely finding who's trading what. Where do you even find wheat in this galaxy at this point? <laughs> Would be really nice to know where I'm going to find wheat. What about... Alaris Prime, perhaps? No, they've just been looted. They won't have anything. Bye... You have nothing of value. Why is it so hard to find wheat? Why is this the crux? Why is this my... What is that? Why is this going to be what cripples me here? I literally just need to find four bags of wheat. Now, the second I find four bags of wheat, I'm going to buy all four bags. Oh my god, if I have to sneak onto Bespin just to find wheat, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to have to sneak onto Bespin just to see if it's there. Because I'm really running out of other places to look here, you know? Hooray, we're at peace! This is fantastic! I don't have to sneak in here anymore. I can just go here and make money again. So I'm going to do that going forward. I'm just going to go make money again. I'm really appreciative of the fact that the Rebel Alliance was willing to make peace with us because now I don't have to fight them anymore. I didn't actually like the idea of fighting them in the first place. You know, I'm probably just going to end up failing this quest. Which sucks. So hard. Good time. Yeah, hey, Playpocalypse. How you doing today? Uh, I can afford to pay it all in cash. Sea salt. The wheat quest might just be a holdover from the vanilla mountain plate. It is, but you can actually find wheat. I've found it before. I've completed one before. 
Please note how many times I use the word one to describe my success rate. Yeah, I'm glad you could be here myself. It's nice to see ya. Bakura. Let's go to Bakura's moon. Also, I love that Bakura's moon is all the way over here, and there's Bakura. Shipment of carbohydrates. Let's see what we got here. No, they won't have anything I want. Off to Manan! How, how many days have I got left on this quest? I have 24 days. I got lots of time. At least. Goods merchant. Spice. Oh, second I, for a second there, I was about to get really freaking excited. Wheat! Aha! We found some! <laughs> found our first thing of wheat. I'm just going to put it all the way down at the bottom. Go to Manan's moon. And then cheese for days there. Wheat, wheat, wheat! Bill Bringy. Perhaps Bill Bringy will have some wheat for me. You have wheat? No, you have cheese. I don't want your cheese. I want your wheat. To Anobis. You got wheat? You do not have wheat. You have more cheese. Why does everybody make cheese? Did do people just not believe in wheat anymore? No one believes in the power of wheat? See, if this was a cheese quest, it would have been over in five seconds. No, go to Renvar. I want you to land on... No, you're not, Renvar is not where I want to go then. Garky. Over to Garky. Bye. None of this. I want none of this. No, I don't want to steal your nerfs. You can keep your nerfs. I'm just really glad this isn't a nerf quest. I would have been... Ha-ha! All right, we've done it. It doesn't even matter what it costs at this point because we own a planet and we want to make the planet people happy. So that's all for. We're done. We're done the quest now. Well, we're almost done the quest. Where's Dara 4 now? How the hell did... Where did I end up? Oh, good. Yeah, the complete opposite end of the galaxy from everything. Great. And I don't even know where my own planet is. Where's Dara 4? There's Tatooine... Narkita, Felucia, Zetrexus Prime, Bismari, Gamor. There it is, Dara 4. I'm over by Naboo. Oh. Well, for a second, I thought those were going to be potentially dangerous enemies to have to fight. I don't know who my character's navigator is, but I don't like them. They're not the smartest individuals. Oh, nice. The Mandalorian Empire's first planet. Yes, Dara 4. It's uh, not exactly where I was hoping to start it, but that being said, uh, I didn't join the Galactic Republic, the Galactic Empire, so I don't get to start with uh, the possibility for an Imperial planet. That being said, if I can somehow get it to a point where eventually we go to war with the Empire, first planet I'm taking is Mandalore. It's the first one I'm going for. Anyways. About the task you asked me, indeed, here are four packs of wheat. Woohoo! Alright, so let's uh let's have a look here. We got two days left on our radar station, which is what I'd really like to get finished. Uh just so I can have that going for me. Although the idea of putting a force sensitive training camp here is also really appealing right about now. And now I'm about to do something very unprofessional. I'm going to take a quick little break uh, to run to the washroom. I will be right back. Uh, please enjoy this awesome soundtrack and the cool planetary map while I'm gone. I'll be right back.
I have returned. I'm now back from my incredibly unprofessional break. <laughs> Added some really cool upgrades for planets in this mod. Yes, yes they did. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go down the list actually once this thing completes in a couple of days. But there's about four or five things on the list that are actually really exciting. Um, I want this outpost. I want all of it. Eventually it will all be mine. I will be Mandalore Khan and... Oh, I want to get those deserters. Where are they? They're around here somewhere. I know they are. Another 302? Yo, I'm, I'm actually going to be able to pay my bills completely just using what's on the planet right now. Oh, I got two days left there. Um, oh, we have a Mandalorian ready to upgrade to a soldier. Good. We no longer have any cheesy weakling Mandalorians. Only the best for my for my men. Okay, we are gonna go now, and we're gonna go buy some hydro spanners, and we're gonna make a little extra money. So we know we found a bunch of them. Normally I go bogged in back over, but I found a bunch of them over in the Chandra Law area, so I think I'm gonna head to... I think I'm gonna head to Inza, to, to Brentall, actually. Because during that delightful period of time in which we were trying to find wheat... Could have joined that fight, that could have been fun. Uh, yes. By three Hydro Spanners, because that, that pretty much usually drains the accounts over on uh, Bespin there. So we'll head over there next. Do, 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 do. Headed for Bespin. Uh, Playpocalypse, I want to thank you again real quick for letting reminding me how to do the speed up thing. Uh, that really saves me a lot of time and it's a lot less boring to just sit there and watch me move slowly across the galaxy. Alright, let's move some food around so we know what we got. We're making... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to keep one of these. Now, we'll keep the 565 one, and I'll sell it in a different window. Because apparently, it's really easy to outsell how much money these guys all have. Uh, I'd like to get a different color lightsaber, I think, at this point. We have a yellow one. As yellow is kind of neat. I'd really rather have red. I'm more of a red kind of guy. Uh, also really hoping I'd still find a better blaster pistol. Modded DL-44 isn't that good. Uh, DH-17's all right. We need to start working on Kyle Katarn a little bit, I think, there. So if we can get him into some sort of... Some some better weapons here, I think, at this point. That's what we want to do. Uh, let's let's buy some Durasteel. And we're going to try and sell it... Uh, I think we're going to try and sell the Durasteel. Where do we want to sell the Durasteel? I think we want to sell the Durasteel. Because we're, we're, we're headed into town. So let's head for Corellia. We're headed for the core. So we're going to head to Corellia. We're going to try and sell the uh, Durasteel there. And... Shit. Shit. Get the hell away. 161? What is this? <laughs> Oh, we're going to get away. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Made it. Look at that. Look at that revenue. Holy crap. That's good revenue right there. 652 for three of them. And I, I bought... They, they were like 30 a piece. I'm not going to buy the Hydro Spanners from here, though, because that's a rip. Time to head to our planet. See what our chief export's gonna be. Man, if those deserters are nearby here, I'm gonna be so scared. Okay, here we go, here we go. Manage the planet. Oh, come on! Okay, we need a better engineer, I think, at this point. Because as long as we're wanting to do planetary mods, we need to have a better engineer. Okay, we're gonna head for Brentall. Actually, Lanik, I think, had them for cheap too, right? No, they were they were expensive. Wait a minute, is that blue milk? Fuck yeah, that's blue milk. 
Do we need blue milk? We're actually pretty okay, I think, for food right now. We got a quite a variety. We're about to burn through our first carbohydrate pack, and we have another carb pack that we can start on right away. So I think uh, I think we'll just head for Brentall. Buy some more hydros. Yep. It's still worth it, given the money I'm paying, like, to get it all. And we head back to Bezpin. This stage of the game, it's all about that little bit of extra money. Um, it cost us almost 3k to build the radar station on Dara 4. I was going to try and push for us to build the Force-sensitive training facility, but it's 6,300, and I don't have 6,300 credits. And I can't sell it to you, but I can buy some Dura Steel. Perfect! And then we head back to the core to sell our Dura Steel, and then we go check in on Dara 4. Because Corellia is buying. Oh, look at that. That big old army followed our trade route. So I think they know we hang around Bespin a lot. So I think we're going to have to take a break from Bespin. Go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. Bye, bye, bye. That's still worth it in my eyes. It's less than 600 from the first. Then like, So I don't have the first time success, but I'll take it. And head to Dare 4. It's a really busy little alleyway of space there. Okay, so we have the radar station. That's fantastic. So what is this one going to give me? Uh, educational facility increases the loyalty of the citizens. To me, by plus one every month as the party member with the highest engineering. I need to get. I need to upgrade Nethrax uh, engineering. Build a palace. Palace lets you rest on the planet and pay your troops half wages while we rest. So see, this seems like a good investment, but it's going to take a month to build. So if I'm doing that, it could still end up being worth it, though. Having a place I can crash that is cheaper than everywhere else, thats that seems like a good thing to have. Uh, comm center lets me, uh, lets the inhabitants send me a message whenever the enemies are nearby, even if you are far from here. The Baha'i says 10 days for 1800. So it'd be good to have it as a reconnaissance station, especially if we're wanting to expand the empire in the future here. Um, what does a droid foundry do? Gives us a chance to build battle droids. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Rancor pits gives us a chance to breed baby rancors. Ooh. Woo that seems really good. Industrial factory increases our prosperity by 5%. So that's the best one for revenue. Uh, clone chambers gives us a chance to recruit clone troopers. Clone troopers? And then, of course, the force sensitive tent pole. But this is the worst one. Not for what you'll get, but for how long it's going to take. I'm genuinely leaning towards building the uh, building the palace here, just so we have a place to crash. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build the comm center, and that'll do it for now. What do we sell? We sell oil, pottery. So it seems like we sell pottery, and of course we produce Mandalorian wine. A Mandalorian planet wouldn't produce Mandalorian wine. Okay, so we're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna head to the core. Actually, we're gonna see if we can pick up some uh, Dura Steel cheap at the outer rims. So we're gonna head to the Mustafari Moon. I'm gonna do a little bit of trading for a little bit here. <laughs> gonna make this joke again. I know it's the same joke I made a couple a little while ago, but straight up, it's good to see that Mustafar produces oil. Uh, you know, for that extra crispy Darth Vader. Uh, <laughs> Your Dura Steel prices are shit. See, okay, the Dura Steel is cheap out here. Let's just buy them out. So it's going to cost me 265 so we're going to buy them out from Durasteel, and then we're going to do the same route back. We're going to start at Mustafar. 
Then we're going to bounce over to Dagobah. Hit Nabu. And then Corellia's Moon. Uh, I'm going to pay it out of... We're going to do it like this. Oh, fine. We'll just pay everything in cash. I don't care. We're not we're not near our bank account, I guess, is the problem, so. Land on Corellia. Go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. Goods merchant. Buy all of my Durasteel. Thank you. Your prices on that stuff suck. Let's buy some blue milk to make our men happy. And some nerf sausages while we're at it. Yeah, Durasteel's not cheap here, yo. Let's go to the cantina. We're gonna see about recruiting some more soldiers. Uh, we've already got all of the companions we want. So we're just gonna see what we can do to get some more soldiers. Who could we get? You know, one of these days, I think I will bite the bullet. Mandalorian Crusader, you are not meant to be at the bottom of this list anymore. You get up here by the by the defilers, or I will end you. So it's nice to know I've got actually a pretty decent, not sized army, but power level army, you know? Serapin is under siege, huh? It's not us, I know that. Oil's cheap. Hydro spanners are cheap, too. Like, it's three of them... I'm gonna buy four. And I'm gonna head to Bespin again. I think I've probably waited long enough between visits that it'll be safe again. But we won't find out till I get there. So, there's Bogdan. I usually... Or literally, I usually orient my trip to Bespin based on where Bogdan is, because historically, that's where I go first. There's that big ol' army trying to catch me. Marketplace. Goods merchant. Buy my shit. Yeah. It's actually proving to be quite easy for me to make some quick money, you know? Maybe I should just start selling it all to the weapons guy. Ooh! Purple balanced lightsaber. 10,000 credits, though. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Considering what my costs are like right now. Uh, trade with the goods merchant. I think I'm going to buy six Durasteel. We'll head back to the core and we'll sell it on Corellia. Corellia does seem to be a good place to sell right now. That's probably not going to last, though. So we're going to go the Mustafar route. To Dagobah. We're going to head for Christophsis next. I know it takes us a little farther away, but... Uh, actually, let's see if we can get into Serapin to sell this stuff. Are we going to Serapin? Yeah, we're going to Serapin. Okay, so we're headed to Serapin. Are we at war with the Galactic Empire? I didn't think we were. Yeah, look at that. That was a pretty mean little uh, turnaround there. Yes! If it wasn't 10,000 credits, I'd have bought it in a heartbeat. Uh, but it's 10,000 credits and I can't afford it. Uh, what is that? That's not a better blaster pistol. I need a better blaster pistol than a West Star 34, and I'm not finding one right now. You know, if I had been taking prisoner more times on this run, I think I would have been in a better, in a worse off situation. But I think I've done okay, so. Okay, I think we're going to leave, and we're going to head Shunrelel. There's Bogs, Bogdan. So we're going to head for Korolag. We already picked up Hydro Spanners, didn't we? Yeah, we did. 281 in there. 
We're not going to stay on Corlag though. Oh, Lunar, Lunar just got an upgrade. See your equipment. No, we'll do a skills upgrade then. Definitely want to max out that intelligence. Uh, wound treatment increases our healing uh, stat by 20% per level. So that at five, uh, healing speed is increased by up to 100% healing speed. So we're going to do that. And then first aid, heroes regain 5% for skill points. So that means we're going to gain back 25% of our HP um, when we lose a mission. So that's that's really good. Um, and then she doesn't actually have anything except a one-handed weapon, so we're just going to dump all of our points into that, and she's going to have force powers eventually. Apparently. I was going to make her into my engineer as well, but Nethrak already has points in it, so I figure when Nethrak's... Actually, when is Nethrak's next upgrade? Oh, he, wow, he's only 100 experience points away, so he'll be leveling up very soon. I hope you, I hope whoever's watching doesn't find this too particularly boring. I know I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot of a lot of fighting, but ah, uh, that big ol' army is just hovering around waiting for me to come back. Straight up, I think they're stalking me. I think they're secretly in love with me. Lol, there's just this dude standing on a table. Dude, get off the table. Fat stack of deserters. Yeah, I know, right? Get off the table, dude. Get off the table. You're not supposed to be on somebody's table. They're just trying to play... God damn it, they're just trying to play a goddamn game. Why do you got... Jade Cody. I don't need another ally. And I have no prisoners. Arvis Sunright? Arvis Sunright? Where are your hands, Arvis Sunright? Need to hire some soldiers. Looking for Mandalorians or possibly some Defilers. So I'm thinking about recruiting a couple more Defilers. Uh, they're pretty good. They're just... They're pretty fucking good. Uh... As much as I love my Mandalorians, how many dead eyes do I have now? Mandalorian dead eyes. I've got two Mandalorian dead eyes, and I got one Mandalorian Crusader. I need more Mandalorians. I got a lot of Imperials on this list now. Yeah. No, we're gonna see if we can recruit some more Mandalorians to the cause at this point. Uh, we're gonna leave. Mustafar. Go to Mustafar. Get us to Mustafar. I didn't buy any Durasteel. Uh, I didn't buy it, though, because I was afraid that I would pop right out and I'd be slowed down by what I was carrying too much. Genosian. A Gamorian. A Trandoshan warrior. That's kind of neat. Oh, I'm too far away to talk? Come on, let's have a conversation. Droid parts merchant. All right. Let's talk. Mandalorians? None. Seven defilers? Dude, there's a lot of defilers out of work right now. Oil. It's always oil. I'm kind of kicking myself for not, well, on Bespin, buying Durasteel. But I'm going to see if I can sneak back over there. See, another fat stack of Black Sun pirates. Aha! We got there. Dirt steel price has gone up. I'll only buy three this time then. This just means I'm going to make a lot less money. Uh, I need to do this really smart. So I think we're going to head to Anoth. That's the thing. With the size of deserter groups that I'm seeing right now. Uh, we are going to head for Riffler. 
With the size of deserter groups I'm seeing these days, it's become increasingly dangerous for me to just do trade routes. So it makes being a trader very difficult. Uh, go here. Then go to calm. We're definitely going to head for Corellia. Actually, I think I got my best turnaround on Serapin. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, we're not going to get in on that. All right, to the marketplace, the goods merchant. Buy my Durasteel. Your Hydro Spanners are overpriced. Go away. Oh, that's awful. I'm going to head to Bogdan. We're literally just trying to kill 10 days right now. Buy your Hydro Spanners, please and thank you. I make a surprising amount of money off Bespin. Like, I stand by that. It's a surprising amount of money from this. And yet, it's still not, like, the most profitable thing. Because if you can get, for a low enough price, uh... If you can get Nabu Velvet for a low enough price, your revenue is disgusting. Oh, Boba Fett is now the Marshal of the Hut Cartel, so that's good to know. I really got to stop selling in this category, but then I can also just buy my Durasteel real quick, usually. Durasteel prices are back down. Whole population addicted, addicted to Hydro Spanners. Yeah, give me that sweet, sweet Hydro Spanner, man. Just one more, one more hit. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm buying, I'm still making 1400. Let's just, let's buy six again. Just need one hit, man. Uh, can I follow these guys? Because my, my, my logic on that was very simply put. Theoretically, we're going to head for Tholodon. Okay. You're branching off. We're going to Corellia. Yo! I think the Corellian battle station might be under siege. Call it intellectual curiosity. Let's go find out if the Corellian battle station is under siege. Yep, it's under siege, all right. Good fucking god. Look at this. Okay, we got, uh... Corrin Horn. And we got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Derek Kelvin. Uh, Arvel Krinid. And what is this last one here? General Jan Dodonna. I just wanted to go to a freaking shipyard. Because I'd like to buy another ship. I'd like to buy a bigger ship, I think. Because this one looks kind of stupid. Uh, let's have a look here real quick at this planet. We got two days left on this. Those pirate armies are bigger than most faction fleets. I know, right? So we're big on Geonosian pottery here on this planet, you know. What happened to my Mandalorian wine? You guys should be producing Mandalorian wine for me. We're Mandalorian. Act like it, damn it. Uh, we can get... I cannot... <laughs> that number. <laughs> that number. It's hot militiamen, but I, I... Like, it's... I just don't want to train recruits anymore. I'm, I'm past that point in my life where I, I just want to be hiring quality soldiers, which is what I've been trying to do from the start. Bartender. You have nothing I want. Don't even have defilers for me to... Kind of sucks. It's starting to prove very difficult to find Mandalorians in this galaxy. Have I got anything in my inventory that I'm trying to sell? Not right now. Up to 24k though. 
Let's head for the Fondor Shipyards. Because that was uh, something I was looking at before, was getting a ship from the Fondor Shipyard. Because I was looking at trying to get my hands on a Star Destroyer if I could. So that's kind of neat. That, that ship's kind of neat. Uh, for 17000 too, so I could actually just buy it outright. I would love to buy a Star Destroyer. Also, can we just talk for a moment about how this is very mislabeled? I don't know if anybody knows what the Z95 Headhunter is, but it's a tiny little X-Wing size fighter. That's a Star Destroyer. Base speed of 85. I'm really tempted. Because I, I had picked out another ship that I think was being produced by another one of the shipyards. Was it Corellia? I don't remember if it was Corellia. Because I thought it was one of the Imperial ones. It wasn't the Federation one. Oh, I don't, I don't care. Apparently I currently don't own a spaceship. I could buy a Corvette. No, I couldn't. I don't have enough money for that. So it's pointing out that I don't own a ship because what I have is like the bare bones surface one. We're going to go to Mandalorian shipyards though. Now, Hutta, Seleucimi, Dak shipyards. Huh. I could have gone to the rescue of those guys, but I didn't feel like it. So Dak is, I think, where I could buy the Imperial ships. Oh, Raxus Prime has shipyards, too. Go to the shipyard, look at available ships. Look at that. I can actually buy an X-Wing. Okay. That's what I'm thinking about getting. Base speed is 60. Scanner range, 1 of 3. Combat computer, 1 of 3. Like, it's got a bunch of good stuff going for it. Um, it's a heavy support ship, though. So it'd be, like... Imperial Victory 2 Frigate. Uh, it's why it's expensive, though. Like, this is coming in at 90k. Pretty expensive. But, like, you saw me just generate probably 7,000, 8,000 credits in a very short span of time. So I figure if I just knuckle down and do it, I'll have a shit ton of money before I know it. We're going to head to the Raxus Prime one real quick and just see what they're offering. Imperial Star Destroyer, Vindicator. I did consider the Mercenary Shuttle for a little while, because I can just buy one outright right now, but they're just not very good. It's not designed for intense combat, but it's quite fast and versatile. Yeah, maybe I will just buy one of these, though. It'd be good to have one at this point, really. Yeah. Okay, so we bought the ship. To buy a new ship, you'll have to sell your current one. Okay, upgrade our current ship. So look at this. We can buy upgrades for the ship. Um, we can upgrade all sorts of stuff. We've got a troop capacity of one. We can max that out at two. We can buy a better scanner. That seems pretty worth it. Let's do that. Let's buy a better scanner. And let's upgrade our cargo capacity. All right. So look at that. We've got a... Oh my god, and we travel at 11.1? We are fast now, guys. Holy shit, we're very fast now. Oh, no. I wanted to go to stationing. Okay, so we don't want to go near those guys. They're moving into 7.5... Head for Kashyyyk. No! Oh, shit! Yes! Okay, good. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Yeah, we can pay 150 credits to avoid a fight with a 226 army. 228, sorry. 
150 credits or we fight 228 soldiers. I'll pay 150 credits. I'm good with that. I, I've, I have no regrets about that decision. Not a one. Kawat. That was the one I wanted to go to. We're going to head to Bogdan. I haven't been to Bogdan in a little while. Probably time. Do I just splurge at this point and buy six? I go fast enough now. I can afford to buy six. And now we head for Bespin. I just noticed how everyone seems to go faster as well, though, suddenly. Like, we were going... We were just moving, and then suddenly everybody's also just moving. I don't, I don't fully understand what's going on here. Sell three of those here. Weapons merchant, sell three of those here. And we're back up over 10,000 already. Visit the cantina. Nikito, ransom broker, illegal weapons merchant. Okay, let's have a chat. What you got for me? Disruptor ammo for pistols. That's pretty worth it because it's a plus four damage and it's 160 ammo. I could also buy some thermal detonators. They're expensive though. I need to make more money. Um... I'm going to grab two more defilers. Oh, right. I forgot to buy... I forgot to buy something while we were here. Go back to Bespin. Go back to Bespin. I don't like how hard that was to get back to. Durasteel is still cheap. Now, okay, if I go to inventory, how much of this is ship inventory and how much of this is personal inventory? Cause like there should be it should be separate right now right faction management options change my faction's culture change my faction's name Got the camp info oh uh, manage my party's inventory access the item pool what item pool is this though There's just some details I'm personally missing that I think would make the game a little more interesting or a little more accessible for me as an individual. Okay, so see, something tells me I should head for Dara 4 now. I'm going to head for Corellia first, though. See if I can offload this. Uh... Oh, they finished my thing on uh, Dara 4, so... I could probably take in that little group of 14 Black Sun Pirates. Oh, let's get those deserters. Uh, let's help the patrol fleet. Seems good. Uh, charge the enemy. Okay, well then, other than me sucking, you know, I... All right, everybody get in there. My Mandalorian dead eye got one. I wasn't sure what side of the war that guy was on. One of my, an Imperial Navy. Okay, so this is the one thing I don't like either is I can't tell who's on my side and who's not. Who's left? Is there anyone left? 
And looks like Coda got one. There we go. We won. We won. I lost none. Uh, none of my soldiers were killed. That's good. That's really, really good. It's fortunate I was nearby. Yes, I'm going to capture some incinerator troopers. Hell yeah, we're going to capture some incinerators. Uh, we could snag a battle droid. That could be fun. They cost one dinar, one one credit a week. Hell yeah, I'll hire. A, let's hire a battle droid. Let's have some fun with this shit. All right, access the item pool. Yes, we're going to grab all of that. That all seems very useful to me. All right, Nethrak, let's get you doing some leveling up, and my friend. Uh, we need to up your engineering, because I need you to go faster when we're building stuff now. Engineer, that's based off of my int score for you, so you're going to get another point of int, so I can give you three. And then, uh, apparently he really wants that. Uh, I really just want to put it all into engineering, though. Can't do that, though. It's okay. Uh, have you got anything else I want you to have better in? Tracking is good. Sensors, I think I've got a better sensor stat right now, though. Um, let's give him a point of trainer. And he's using, he's using a rifle, so we're gonna go with, uh, rifles up. And one-handed up. Okay, and we got some Imperial pilots who are ready to be aces. Having realized that the Imperial pilots were actually speeder users, I got really excited about that. So engineering three on Nethrak now, that's gonna be good for doing any kind of upgrades to our home planet now. I uh, still got some stuff to offload though. So let's let's do uh, let's do some equipment upgrades, see if anyone can benefit from that right now. Nethrak, I don't think will benefit from any of the gear I just picked up. Not unless one of these is uh yeah, baby. That's worth it at a plus twenty. Um, that is a plus one. That's also a plus one. That's not any better. Uh, and then there's no other armor things because he's got Mando armor, so he's got much better armor. All right. Never mind. We'll talk to Coda now. Let's see your gear, Coda. 28 and 12, 28 and 12. Got it. Uh, 14 helmet. Let's upgrade that to a 19 helmet. It's just good to have your Jedi not go down, you know? Uh, we're on to Kyle Katarn now. Let's have a look at what you've got. Kyle, what do you got? You got a, the 43 and 20, so there's no way this is better. 18 helmets. Well, at least now your armor matches again. It's the same rating. It's just it matches better. So i got to get him a better blaster pistol at some point here. Kira Morin. Let's see your gear. Helmet at an 18. Helmet at a 17. Helmet at an 18. I don't think it's ever going to matter. The helmet's going to look weird. 36 and 14, 28 and 12. Nope. I need to get her something better than the Ragged Palace Hut Guard Armor. Better armor. Better helmets. Cool. All right, everybody's got the best they can have. Corellia, we're headed to Corellia. Go to the marketplace, weapons merchant. No, it's definitely their goods merchant who has the money. There we go, we made some money. Hydro spanners are way too overpriced here, so we're just gonna leave. And we're going to head to our planet. Where's Dara 4? Where is Dara 4? I'm all turned around right now. Quat, Thispus, Rental, Shandra Law. There's Bogdan, so that means Dara 4 is over here. To Dara 4! Oh, wait. I should really have tried to hawk these prisoners first. Let's head to Nabu and hawk the prisoners. Cantina. Historically, I've had pretty good luck finding ransom brokers until I played this mod. And now I have no luck finding ransom brokers anywhere. All right, well, that's fine. Where's the nearest shipyard? Fondor. 
Funder always has the slave traders. So we go talk to the merchants. Yep. The shipyard's always got a slave trader. Yep, here you can have my incinerator troops. Make 200 bucks off that. Oh, right. All right, now we're going to go to Dara 4, and we're going to see if uh, upgrading our one dude's engineering has increased our chances of going much faster on the whole process. Oh, boy, I don't know if you could hear that. That was my stomach just now. I just growled so hard. Okay, we got to... How long will it take me to build a palace? 27 days, and the cost came down. Forget it. 3,418 days. Too much. That one we know is too much. Uh, Rancor Pit would be the same as building a palace. No, it's cheaper than building a palace. Okay, so I think what our goal is going to be is this now. So where are we at financially right now? Um, manage the planet. Where are we at financially? We are at 13,000. We pay out almost 1,000 a month or a week. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I mean, plainly put, we're obviously going to have to make some more money here. Uh, we got some people ready for an upgrade. It's my B1C Ares. I've got an assassin droid. i got a droid assassin. That's good news. Go to the bank. Withdraw a thousand credits. So we're making 8% interest, but I just wanted the money. Because having a thousand on me is better than not. So we're gonna go to Fondor, we're gonna try and buy some hydro. We're gonna we're gonna We're gonna do some more trading for a little bit longer. Rack up our finances a little higher. Quarter leg, please. At the cost of 212, which means if I make the 2,000, I'm probably going to make selling these on Bespin. I will have had a 100, no, a thousand percent. What's the math on that? 2,000. I think it's a 1,000 uh, percent revenue. I'm just trying to do math in my head right now. It's not going well. 28. So that's 60, uh, that's 59. Fuck it, it's still a good investment in return. Despite the fact that I'm still losing some money, it's a good, re it's a good revenue. So we're gonna head for Serapin. Serapin did pretty well for me last time for selling my, my Durasteel. Okay, and I can turn around and buy five hydro spanners right here, right now. Still revenue of a thousand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more full trip. We're gonna do one more expedition here, one more route, and then we're gonna head to Dare. Like when we get to to Bespin and we sell off the contents that we have. That was a close call. A very close call. And I just got jumped to the streets.
Well, they didn't stand much of a chance, did they? I'm still profiting immensely off of that. Transpo Merchant can buy one. Armor Merchant can buy my last two. Well, we're in here. Okay. Like, I need something better than that, which is going to be really hard to find. Um, yeah, because 52 and 18, that's, that's really good armor. Not bad. Not not as good though. Better Mandalorian Crusader helmet. I'd really like to get a newer, better helmet, but this is already at a plus twenty-three, and I have not found a helmet that's better than that yet. <sighs> well, they've got nothing I want right now. Plus the financing, you know, it's expensive. So I think I'm just about up at 20k again. And we're going to head to Dara 4 and we're just going to buy the palace now. Yeah, at this point, it's, it's as good as it's going to get, I think, right now for me. So we'll just do it. And we're going to leave. And where are we at financially right now? We are at 14,000 credits. That's still in really good shape, so that's fine. Like, okay, what is this? Can we win that fight? We can win that fight. Serapin. No, I'm going to Serapin. Serapin has given me the best results so far, so I think my roots are changing a little bit there, but... Serapin, please. But that's a good thing. Right? That's a really good thing to be changing things up a little bit. Hydro Spanner pricing has gone up, eh? But Lasha Silk has gone down. Huh. Off to Chandrila. And if that fails, I'll head to Bogdan. Man, it feels really weird to be buying so much these days. But I'm like, I'm so much less afraid now of having to do fights. Just because of the success rate I've had so far. Like, a lot of the other playthroughs and plays that I've done of this, I've never had this much luck, so... Good, I can sell all of that there. What's your Steel pricing like? It's going up! Mandalorian wine is really cheap right now, I guess, but I'm going to try and move this Mandalor this uh, Naboo Velvet. Good. And we're going to head to Anoth. We're going to see if Anoth has some Durasteel I can try and snag and sell. Uh, I can afford that. I know I could. Like, I spend a lot on this, don't get me wrong, but... You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna buy them out. And then we're gonna move it all on the same planet. Head to Bakura. Tagoria? No. Wait, no, hang on. Twenty-five. I'm going for it. Oh no, wait. Uh, we can definitely win the fight if we land on Naboo.
Okay, I'm bringing my cavalry. I'm, I'm going to do a little cavalry charge thing here. Time to pull the cavalry out. All right, we're doing an all charge. We knocked one out with our bike. Okay, so we lost a couple of our uh, cavalry guys in that fight, but that's okay. And we got a couple of prisoners we can take. There really needs to be a take all option at some point here. Got our sensor array up a little bit higher now too, so that'll be really good for us. I think we're gonna throw some more points into pistols and pole arms for the rest of it for when we do those tournament fights. Okay, now we were headed for Serapin, which is over here. So I went a little off course, but it's okay, we can still get there just fine. Go to the marketplace. Merchants. Buy my yes. Yes. So much yes going on there. Okay, that's a little too much. I'm going to have to take back some of the Thurist steel. Oh, I can scoop some really cheap hydro spanners, eh? Snag three of those. No, I can't give you all that. But I can give you some gloves, can't I? That'll do. And then we go to the, not the goods merchant, the transpo merchant. Move some more Durasteel. And the batons. No, that's my max out there. Armor merchant. 
Find my trend ocean skin. All right, all right. So we're gonna see if we can uh, improve some quality of life for any of my guys in just a second here. We're gonna head to Serapin, we're gonna go into the cantina, we're gonna try and sell off our prisoners real quick. Ransom broker, Clatuinian, colonist, soldier, Wookiee. Oh, I got a clone era salesman. Dav Foss. I don't even know who that is. Should really look up some of these characters and see if they were in any of the stuff I should have seen at this point or read about at this point. But here we are. Nathrak, we'll start with you, my friend. Let's see your gear. Because Nathrak is so much my front liner that I need to know that he's got the best. So he's got 17 legs. 51 and 17. So those have to be 51 and 17 or better. This is a 47 versus a 90. So he's got the best blaster rifle. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Nothing of note there. Okay, so that's enough of you. Coda, let's see what it is. 28 and 10, 26 and 10, 41 and 17, but the weight, that's a much heavier thing. 16 legs versus 17 legs, so that's better. He's got plus four gloves already on. I really think I might just up his armor anyways and make him last longer, because that seems like a good thing to do. Well, what's his athletics like? Athletics one. Yeah, dude, that's where all your levels are going from now on is on your athletics. That's just sad. Okay, so when he hits, he hits hard. So we're gonna be giving him agility and uh, agility ba and athletics, basically going forward. Um, no, wait. I should see if uh, Kyle Katarn would benefit from better armor right now. He's got 43 and 20 versus 41, 17. And 14 versus 16 here. You can have these bright red legs now. Thirty-six, fourteen. Yeah, you're going to have that now. 14 versus 18. Yeah, that's what she's going to use now. It seems like a good time to do it because she's already wearing a clone helmet, so... Oh, no, she has no neck. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Take me to your marketplace. All right, so that's good. That was a good little turn of events there. I need to go to a shipyard so I can get unload these prisoners I've got. Probably a shipyard is not too far away. We'll head straight there. And then we're headed back to, um, talk to the merchants. Then we're headed back to, um, oh shit. My brain. Besbin! We're going to Besbin! I heard it's lovely this time of year. Rebel Alliance is back to being indifferent with me, so that's good. Wow, everyone's really happy. I dig it.
Dangar is apparently our enemy. So what we're gonna do... Don't be stupid. Whoever my navigator is needs to fucking learn how to navigate better. I was really hoping to trade these for a better blaster pistol. But I'm thinking now it might be time to invest in a lightsaber for one of my allies. I think that's how we're going to end today's stream. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this. And sell those. And we're going to have a red lightsaber. And we're going to give the yellow lightsaber to Kyle Katarn. Party, Kalkatarn, talk, miss your gear. Boom, Kalkatarn now has a lightsaber. Okay, go to the marketplace, armor merchant, sell the vibro blade. Not like it was worth anything to begin with. Okay, so they have some good stuff suddenly. Okay, so I want, I want this for one of my men. I'm just going to buy it then. And defiler boots. Oh boy. Oh man, that's tempting too. Mandalorian sniper armor at 46. Nethrak. Let me see your stuff, my friend. 20. Try this on. Yeah. Yeah. Crude Mandalorian dead eye versus my Mandalorian dead eye. I'd really... Plus one to Iron Flesh, though. That one's pretty good, because it gives him extra health. So, we'll leave that be. Wait, hang on. What do you got for melee weapon? Let me see your gear. A good one-handed Vibro Sword. You need a shield. That's what you need. So, the next energy shield we get, we're going to keep for him. But I think I want to give him a better melee weapon as well. I would love to get my hands on a force pike, I think, for him. But he's not a pole arms guy. He's got great one-handed stats, though. Anyways. Are we down anybody? No, we're not. Okay. Uh, we're going to head back to our home planet so I can start next stream at the home world. Well, not our, not our home world, home world, but the one we own. We've got 23 days left on our palace, which will let us crash here periodically. Seems like we're a big Genosian pottery planet. And I guess we've got nerfs for nerf wall. So... That's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this puppy. And I'll just jump out here. Back out to the camera view. So I want to thank everybody who joined me today. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope everyone had a good time. Uh, next week, I'm probably going to start a new game. I don't think I'm going to be doing this game next week. But maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I haven't decided. What I have decided is that you guys are all awesome. I really appreciate you hanging out. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, and of course, as always, may the Force be with you.